Have you ever wondered what the cultural marvels are in the heart of the Caribbean, in Trinidad and Tobago? Today we set sail on an exciting journey to uncover these hidden gems. We'll stroll through the bustling streets, immerse ourselves in the vibrant festivals, and observe the unique traditions that make this country a cultural melting pot. We'll dip our toes into the rich history and see how it has shaped the nation's present. So, buckle up and prepare to delve into the cultural treasure trove that is Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago, a twin island nation, is a true melting pot of cultures. Perched on the southernmost tip of the Caribbean, this vibrant nation is home to a diverse tapestry of ethnic groups, each contributing to its rich cultural landscape. One of the predominant groups here is of African descent, their ancestors brought over during the colonial era. Today their influence is palpable in the rhythmic beats of calypso music, the energetic moves of the limbo dance, and in the pulsating vibrancy of the annual carnival. Equally significant is the Indian community, descendants of indentured laborers from the Indian subcontinent. Their influence has added a touch of the exotic to the islands. The sounds of the sitar mingle with the steel pan, while the aromatic blend of spices like cumin, coriander and turmeric have transformed the local cuisine into a culinary adventure. European influences, primarily Spanish, French and British, have also left an indelible mark on the island's culture. This is evident in the architectural gems that dot the landscape, from the grandeur of the Magnificent Seven around the Queen's Park Savannah, to the charm of the gingerbread houses in the towns. The English language, albeit with a unique local twist, is the lingua franca of the islands. And let's not forget the indigenous peoples, the First Nations of Trinidad and Tobago. The Arawaks and the Caribs, though small in number now, have influenced the culture in profound ways. From the names of places like Arima and Chaguanas, to the traditional practices of canoe building and cassava baking, their legacy lives on. This mix of African, Indian, European and indigenous influences has resulted in a fascinating fusion of traditions, languages and cuisines. The island's music is a symphony of diverse sounds, its food a gastronomic delight of varied flavors, and its traditions a colorful patchwork of different customs and practices. This multicultural blend is the backbone of Trinidad and Tobago, shaping its unique cultural marvels. It's a place where the world meets, where cultures intertwine and where diversity is not just accepted but celebrated. Truly, Trinidad and Tobago is a cultural melting pot like no other. Now imagine a place where every day feels like a celebration. Welcome to Trinidad and Tobago. Here the calendar is dotted with vibrant festivals, each one a unique blend of tradition, culture and a whole lot of fun. One such festival is the world-renowned Carnival. This grand spectacle is a riot of color and rhythm, where the streets come alive with the pulsating beats of soca music, flamboyant masqueraders, and extravagant costumes. It's a time when the entire nation unites to celebrate life, unity, and freedom. But the celebration doesn't stop there. As the echoes of the Carnival fade, the lights of Diwali illuminate the islands. This Hindu festival of lights is a spectacle to behold. Thousands of diyas, or oil lamps, twinkle in the night, symbolizing the triumph of light over darkness, good over evil. The air is filled with a sense of peace and tranquility, as families come together to share meals, exchange gifts, and celebrate the victory of light. And then comes Eid, the Muslim festival marking the end of Ramadan, the holy month of fasting. Eid is a time of gratitude, generosity, and unity. The streets are filled with the aroma of sumptuous feasts being prepared in homes and the echoes of prayers from mosques. It's a day of giving, of sharing, and of coming together as one community. Each of these festivals, though rooted in different traditions and beliefs, reflect the same spirit of unity and togetherness. They are a mirror to the island's rich cultural diversity, where people from different backgrounds, religions, and cultures come together to celebrate. In Trinidad and Tobago, festivals are more than just a celebration. They are a way of life, a way of expressing joy, of sharing traditions, and of celebrating the unity and diversity. They are a vibrant tapestry woven with threads of different cultures, traditions, and beliefs, all coming together to form a beautiful, harmonious picture. These festivals are not just celebrations, but a testament to the country's harmonious multicultural society. In Trinidad and Tobago, traditions are not just followed, but lived. In every corner of this twin island nation, you'll find unique traditions that are deeply ingrained in the fabric of everyday life. These practices are not just rituals, but they are the lifeblood of the vibrant Trinidadian and Tobagonian culture.
adding to the country's cultural richness. Take for instance the delightful sounds of Parang music. This isn't just any music, it's the heartbeat of Trinidad and Tobago's Christmas celebrations. With its Spanish lyrics and Caribbean rhythms, Parang music fills the air, making the festive season truly come alive. From house parties to community gatherings, Parang bands serenade people with their enchanting melodies, creating an atmosphere of warmth and camaraderie that's hard to resist. And then there are the traditional folk dances, each with its unique rhythm and story, reflecting Trinidad and Tobago's diverse cultural heritage. From the lively bongo to the sensual kalinda, these dances are a spectacle to behold. They're not just performed for entertainment, but are an integral part of social gatherings, celebrations and even religious ceremonies. Let's not forget the local cuisine, a delightful fusion of flavors from around the world. It's not just about the taste, but also about the traditional methods of preparation and presentation that have been passed down through generations. The doubles, a popular street food, or the callaloo, a creamy stew, tell a story of cultural amalgamation. The unique blend of ingredients and techniques is a testament to the island's multicultural heritage. From the music to the dance, from the food to the festivals, these traditions are lived every day. They are a reflection of the island's rich cultural tapestry, and they continue to shape its identity. Every beat, every step, every bite is a celebration of the Trinidadian and Tobagonian spirit. These traditions, passed down through generations, truly make Trinidad and Tobago a cultural marvel. Every corner of Trinidad and Tobago whispers tales of its rich history. Delve into a captivating journey back in time, as we explore some of the historical landmarks and heritage sites scattered across these vibrant islands. Each site bears testimony to the colonial past and natural history, offering a unique lens to view the evolution of Trinidad and Tobago. Let's start with the Magnificent Seven, a group of seven majestic buildings that line the Queen's Park Savannah in Port of Spain, the capital city. These architectural marvels, built in the early 20th century, showcase a myriad of styles, from Moorish and French Gothic revival to Scottish baronial. They stand as silent guardians of history, each with a story to tell about the colonial era. Next, we journey to Tobago, home to Fort King George. Overlooking the capital, Scarborough, this 18th century fortification offers panoramic views of the Caribbean Sea. But more than its strategic location, Fort King George is a reminder of the island's tumultuous past, having changed hands among the French, Dutch and British. Today, it houses the Tobago Museum, preserving artifacts that narrate the island's pre-colonial and colonial history. Our final stop takes us to a natural wonder with a historical twist, the Pitch Lake. This largest natural deposit of asphalt in the world, located in the town of La Brea, has been a source of intrigue for explorers and scientists alike. Amerindians, the original inhabitants of the islands, referred to it as the Eye of the Sea, and it was even visited by Sir Walter Raleigh in 1595. Today, it continues to be a significant source of asphalt for the world. So you see, these historical sites are not just monuments, but symbols of Trinidad and Tobago's resilience and cultural evolution. They stand as testament to the island's journey from colonial rule to independence, from a natural wonder to a modern nation. Each landmark echoes the island's past, while also paving the way for its future. These historical sites are not just monuments, but symbols of Trinidad and Tobago's resilience and cultural evolution. Our journey through Trinidad and Tobago's cultural marvels has been nothing short of extraordinary. We've seen firsthand the incredible diversity that makes this Caribbean paradise so unique. From the Indian, African and European influences that have shaped its cultural identity, to the myriad languages and dialects that echo through its streets, Trinidad and Tobago is a true melting pot of cultures. We've been swept up in the vibrant festivals that showcase the island's rich traditions, each one a riot of color, music and dance, Carnival with its flamboyant costumes and infectious rhythms, the spiritual observances of Ramlila, and the lively beats of Panorama Steel Band competition, all contribute to the unique cultural tapestry of this nation. The rich history of Trinidad and Tobago has also left an indelible mark on our journey. We've traced the island's past, from the indigenous peoples and the European colonizers, through to the era of slavery and indentured labor, and the subsequent fight for independence. Each chapter has shaped the country into the vibrant, diverse nation we see today. 
As we conclude our journey, we hope you've enjoyed this exploration of Trinidad and Tobago's cultural marvels. Remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to discover in this Caribbean paradise. So until next time, keep exploring, keep discovering, and above all, keep celebrating the rich tapestry of cultures that make our world so wonderfully diverse.